Hey. Hi, cutie. Just walk up and pet them. They're pretty mellow. They're just out here trying to find food. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's so how I live my life too. Me. Yeah, they only really care about two things, <laughs> eating and sleeping. Okay, let me get out of the way. You have corn. Yes, he's already shed his antlers off. Okay. And <laughs> they should already be regrowing a little bit. <laughs> Melissa getting her footage there. Look at this beautiful forest. This is their dog. He's hiding in there. He chases the reindeer, so he has to be put away. All of us are boss. Hi Rufus. I think you're my favorite one. I'm sorry you're not feeling great. Hungry. <laughs> <laughs> or hangry. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. She's the newest, right? She's the yes, baby. She's ten months old. And she's yeah, from mom. Dude. That's her mom. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think? love it. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Who would have ever thought? I love that there's no fence and that we can actually like go up and pet them and take pictures with them. That's like the coolest thing. Yeah. Really cool. This is 
Daisy, and then Margarita over there is her baby. That's the one I was petting earlier. <laughs> okay, we are headed back from eating at the crepery which is one of my favorite places I like to get the crepe that they fill it with whipped cream and strawberries and drizzle it with chocolate it's so delicious. And what did you have, Brian? I had a waffle with bacon inside the waffle. Bacon. It was delicious. Inside the waffle. Yeah. Holy cow. So now we are going to go bowling. And the last time we went bowling, what happened? I don't want to talk about it. Last time we went bowling, I put the whooping on Brian. Oh, okay. I don't know. That's necessarily true. I think it necessarily is true. I think you won, but I think I think there were like three games, and I won like all three games. Yeah, but like a point, two points, and five points. That's that's not a whooping. A win's a win. <laughs> it's Thursday. Okay, Brian has the fancy camera with him, so you guys are just going to have to go back to your normal vlog footage from a phone. You know, we can't, there's no way we've spoiled you that quick, right? Okay, so I have moved all of the chairs and the stool into the hallway, and I have taken everything in the kitchen that's on the floor and moved it up here and in the dining room because I got a new housewife toy. Let me show ya. I bought a Hoover Floormate Deluxe. I bought it secondhand, but it had only been used once or twice. So you fill up one side with water and cleaning solution and it scrubs your non-carpeted floor. So I'm getting ready to start using it. Okay, so I had a little bit of a rough start. I filled the wrong side with, like you're supposed to fill it with warm water and like a cleaning agent, and I put it in the wrong side. <laughs> Goes on this side. So I put the water and the cleaning agent in here. It makes it sudsy. It spits it out here, sudsy water, and then vacuums up the water. The dirty water comes up through here, filters out, and ends up in there. You guys, I mopped mm, Monday. I mopped so Sunday, maybe Sunday or Monday. I mopped. Okay, that's from just the kitchen and the dining room. And I mopped this week. Ooh. It has a button that you push to let out more sudsy water if you're feeling like it doesn't let out enough or you need extra cleaning in a certain spot. And then it also has a little clean boost here. So after you do the wet setting, you go back through it with the dry setting. Even though it vacuums up the water, there's still like a little bit of water left. So now I'm just gonna go through and dry it really fast and then we'll see, I'm excited. I think the floors are gonna be squeaky clean. So I have to say, I'm happy with how clean the floors look. I would say I'm super happy with how this cleans my floors. I feel like everything looks really clean. Some pros of this, I feel like it's a really, it cleans it really nicely. 
I love that you like go over it it's wet and then you it dries itself but then there's also a drying setting which is perfect I feel like if you had kids it would be great but it's also really good for pets because when we just regular mop we have to wait for it to dry and I don't really want the cat or the dog going into the kitchen when it, the floor is drying and we can't go in the kitchen when the floor is drying so I think it's just better that it goes over and dries it it also has all these little scrubbies on the bottom so because of the way they have the scrubbies set up it's supposed to not leave streaks and I found that to be true when I was using it you can't really tell on our floors because it's this wood and I think like well this isn't wood this is fake wood but I feel like you can't really even if it did streak you wouldn't be able to see and definitely not on this like linoleum but I feel like it did a really good job of not streaking and I like that it's dry so that it's not gonna be messed up the things I maybe wouldn't that I would say like this is maybe why you shouldn't buy it first of all I got it used price wise how much it costs I only paid 40 bucks for it but I think they can run like 150 or so I don't know I'm gonna do some research on that okay it was actually pretty close so on Amazon with Amazon Prime the Hoover Floormate Deluxe which is what I have was 140 and I paid 40 for it because I got it on a discount I feel like we used to have a shark steam mop and I really liked that just as much like it did take a little while to dry but when we had our little like 600 something square foot apartment by the time we like we'd start at the front door and steam mop all the way through the apartment and by the time we got to the bathroom it was pretty dry and our steam mop was only like 75 I think so I would say if you could get this used it's probably pretty good I don't I know I wouldn't pay 140 for it because I like now that I've used it I like it but I I like it equally to our steam mop which price wise the steam mop is at a better price point I think second thing is the idea of this is perfectly geared toward maybe someone that's a little older I would think this would be a great product for an older person however it's a little too heavy like I wouldn't recommend it to my either of my grandparents because it's a little too heavy and I would be like it's not worth it just get a steam mop they're a lot lighter or just a regular mop and bucket so definitely has its pros I like it I'm happy with it I'm gonna keep it but definitely some things that could be improved upon I think oh let's turn back that natural light is a lot better also I used fabuloso in it so Hoover says don't put anything in it other than our solution that we recommend for this obviously they're gonna say that they sell it they make money for it I've read a bunch of reviews and a bunch of the reviews said it's okay just use less like if the it says to use two caps full I just used like one half of a cap um, of fabuloso however on my next young living essential rewards order I have some thieves cleaner coming and I'm really excited to use that because it'll smell amazing and it'll be a little I think safer and not as toxic and it doesn't have as many solvents in it so I think that'll work awesome cleaning up for Bunko super exciting this has nothing on the reindeer ranch so it was a little boring sorry about that but that's this is a vlog that's what's going on in my life so <laughs> cleaning my floors and tested out new floor cleaning products that's what I'm doing today what are you doing today What'd you get? Um, a couple of TV shows. And you get a whole bunch of movies. What did we spend? 20 bucks. Holy crowley. Not even 20 bucks. 18 bucks. 